Mr. Speaker, I've been really heartened as a parliamentarian to see collaboration up, uh, with opposition parties on coming up with a very common sense, nonpartisan motion to review the government's response to COVID-19 so we can chart a firm path forward to get people back to work while keeping people safe. Government isn't so willing. Look, we've likely got the support of opposition parties. So in the spirit of collaboration, I'm asking the health minister, because she said that a 15-day timeline was not reasonable to produce documents in a scrum earlier today. What is a reasonable timeline? The Honourable Minister of Health. Member for her question, and certainly that's uh, something that I've communicated with the House Leader that uh, should be negotiated. Look, the government is willing to work with the opposition to come up with a timeline that is reasonable, that will get to the goal of understanding what we need to do going forward. Mr. Speaker, I, I think the member opposite is right that when we work together, Canadians appreciate it and our response is stronger. Honourable member for Calgary Nose Hill. Here's the problem, Mr. Speaker. The minister has had two weeks to answer this question because this motion was presented to the health committee nearly two weeks ago. So the fact that she can't walk into her staff's office and go, hey, What's a reasonable timeline over a two-week period really belies this government's overall response to COVID yeah. and her approach to her staff, which has been slow, incompetent, and costly to Canadian lives. So I'm going to ask her one more time. She's had four hours since I asked her this morning, two weeks since it was originally moved. What is a reasonable timeline for the production of these documents? The minister. to take uh, umbrage with defining our civil servants, our staff members who have been working day and night around the clock as slow and incompetent. Mr. Speaker, I think we all can rise above that kind of language and appreciate just how hard everyone in government, in opposition, are working to make sure that Canadians have a response that protects them. But Mr. Speaker, listen, the member opposite also knows that health committees are independent. And of course, that is something that uh, she needs to work through with the health committee and their chair. Mr. Speaker, it's this incompetence that's costing Canadians their lives. It's these excuses that are keeping businesses shut. It's this just lack of disregard for Canadians' lives, our plan forward, that is keeping women out of the workforce because daycares are closed, because yep. we don't have rapid tests. This has to stop. The motion that we have before Parliament today is nonpartisan. It's getting information that Canadians need so that we can move forward out of this pandemic. What time Timeline is the minister proposing to produce these documents? of Canadians since the pandemic was first uh, first announced and in fact when the COVID-19 has arrived on our shores and in fact not once has a Canadian asked me to put more resources into freedom of, of information officers. In fact what they've asked me for is for to, to ensure that all the resources of Canada are devoted on one thing Mr. Speaker and that's the health, safety and economic prosperity of our country and Mr. Speaker we're going to continue to make sure that Canada has the most robust response possible. Thank you.